This video will be the first of a five-part series that looks at fanless ThinMini ITX tiny PC cases. The first four will look at the assembly process for each case, and the fifth video will compare thermal test results. This is the Streetcom FC2, which was released in 2013 for OEMs. Streetcom never fully released this case for retail. This one was purchased last year from Perfect Home Theater. Unfortunately, now I am not able to find it for sale anywhere. It is about 8.3 inches wide, 8.3 inches deep, and 2.1 inches tall, less than 2.4 liters in volume. Initial testing indicates that it can adequately cool 35 watts from the CPU. Components used in this build include the Intel i3-9100 CPU, Asus Prime H310T motherboard, 16 gigabytes of RIP JAWS DDR4 SODIMM memory from G-Skill, a 500 gigabyte 2.5 inch Crucial MX500 SSD, and an Intel 8265 M.2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. An M.2 SSD was also installed initially, but it was later removed because the M.2 slot on this motherboard is right on top of the chipset which is not good for M.2 SSD temperatures, even with an M.2 heatsink installed. You will see the M.2 SSD in this video, but I do not recommend using one with this ASUS motherboard. Let's get on to the build. The i3 CPU is installed. 16 gigabytes of SODIMM memory is installed. An M.2 Wi-Fi card is installed. Four feet are installed to hold the CPU block in place later. The motherboard input-output shield is installed. The Thin Mini ITX motherboard is aligned and fastened in place. Thermal paste is applied to the CPU. Paste is applied to the CPU heat pipe block as well. A heatsink heat pipe block gets the same treatment. As do the heat pipes themselves. The heat pipes are then aligned and fastened in place.
A bit more paste is applied to the heat pipes above the CPU for good measure. Then a plate is used to hold the CPU heat pipe block in place and fastened to the motherboard. Front power button cables are installed. Wi-Fi antenna connectors are then installed. This can be difficult because the connectors are so tiny, so a tool like this plastic spudger from iFixit will help a lot. The antenna connectors are then fastened to the back of the case. SATA power and data cables are then installed. The SATA SSD is then fastened to a 2.5 inch drive tray. The drive tray is then fastened in the case. There is not much space here below the tray, so cables have to be tucked in out of the way. Finally, the case's top panel can be reattached. The top panel fit is a bit tight. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more fanless PC content, and click on one of these videos for more PC assembly guides.